Hello everybody, this is Lila in Hawaii. All is well, we escaped the force of nature, the hurricane, and we're very thankful for that. Thank you for those who emailed me and, and wished me luck. I was going to show you some, um, I do these fabric postcards, and these are four that I've finished. These two are, have been sold, so I'll show you those first. And they, of course, they do have the postcard backing on them. So this one, they're all hand embroidered. And I do just sort of, um, what would you call it, sort of kind of rustic embroidery. I don't go into separating the strands of thread. If it's two strands, three strands, or six, five, or six, I just go with it. Because I just want to get just a statement on there. This one has um, very big French knots there. So that's the first one that's sold. This one is sold. And on this one I put those worms. I don't know what you call those again. I forget. But those are the... <laughs> I wish I could remember. There's some French knots and then that stitch. And then um, that's how that looks. And on all of these I've put a little bit of glitter. I don't know if you can see because they're postcards. And in the old days the French postcards did have glitter on them. Maybe not like that. Okay, so now here, here's one I finished this morning. It has some vintage trim here. I made a, a mess of little wormy things and French knots and so forth. And then there's some a sprig of leaves and so forth. So that, and then just uh, a word and some glitter there. So that's another one I did. And then this one... I just finished two, and again I put that lovely old vintage trim on there, and some tatting of a doily. Um, this is some vintage ribbon I have from Japan, that one. And then I did a collection of, this is supposed to mimic sort of maybe lavender or something, but it just matches this, so it's my embroidery stitches. I just picked the skein up took off how much I wanted, didn't separate the strands or anything. But I just wanted to make an impact and get it on there. So those are the postcards. And I have one other thing that's not a postcard that I thought I would show you, because I kind of like it. I, I was in a place in, let's see, where was I? I think I was in Paris, and I was at a flea market anyway, and they had these pin cushions, but they're really not pin cushions, they're for hat pins. And this is a small version of one I saw. And um, I went past the booth, and of course it was like $300 or something, so I couldn't buy it. But I asked the lady in there if she would let me photograph it, and she hummed and hard and rolled her eyes and finally <laughs> said, oh, if you stand back, okay. So i got a little photograph of it. So this is my version. It's made of silk underneath. And then I did um, a ruched flower, sort of a rosette thing. This is how I remembered it. When I came home, my picture was not that good because I was really in a hurry to get the photo before I got growled at again and get out of there. But anyway, th this is, as I remember, there were little things on each corner, little sort of tabs, you might say, and I had these little vintage beads, so I put one of those on each corner. And then I put just put layers of old lace, and then this is sewn on separately to make that look like that. I took some old netting I had, and then I sewed the lace la like that to mimic what I saw. So anyway, it looked. I think it looks pretty nice. It's got a a solid bottom like that which is really bright so I don't want to show that but anyway that's for sale and that'll be in my Etsy shop and thank you for watching goodbye now